Hi everyone. Recently I've been teaching some of my students about line and shape and particularly through the use of the artist Paul Clay uh, who used a lot of line and shape in his artwork. So today, today we're going to have some fun doing a painting um, in the style of Paul Clay of A Castle and a Sun and I'm going to show you how I went about doing this painting and it's a lot of fun. Paul Clay's painting Castle and Sun was painted back in 1928 and it's a beautiful painting with lots of different geometric shades and various shades of colour and this lovely sun in the sky is created by lots of strong lines and structure. Okay, for this lesson you're going to need um, a white piece of paper, you're going to need a pencil, a ruler, an assortment of different coloured oil pastels and I've also used some acrylic paint that's been watered down. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do to start this picture off is I'm going to divide my page up into like a grid. Um, now you don't have to be too fussy about how you rule these lines um, but as long as they're all parallel um, to each other like this. Okay, you can see here that I've done my lines really nice and light because I'm going to also want to rub some of these lines out that I don't want. Now, once I've got my grid, I can also divide my shapes up into smaller rectangles and shapes. I can also add in some triangles for the turrets of my castle. And then think about the boundary of your shape here and what you want to include and what you want to eliminate. Now, I don't need some of these lines, so I'm going to rub them out. And don't forget to put in a moon. Now, if you're good at drawing circles, just draw a circle, but uh, if you're not so good at drawing circles, uh, find something that you can trace around, like this. Okay, once you're happy with your design, you can always add some different features in along the way. You can add some more turrets and triangles. And then, using some pastels, you can colour your picture in. Now, what's important to remember here is about the way we use our colours um, and to keep that balance. So, if I'm going to paint, say, uh, a rectangle red or orange, uh, I want to try and separate my colours a little bit so I don't have another orange rectangle directly next to it. So if I have orange here, I might now go for maybe an orange one over here and trying to keep that balance. So I'm going to colour my picture in now. Another good technique is to just um, fill out the outside of your rectangle first like this and then with your pastels you can just colour in that shape. Okay and I'm going to colour my picture in now. Okay, now once you have all your pastels filled in, I'm now just going to use um, 
a paint wash to fill in the rest of the picture, like this. I'm going to use like a red color light like Paul Klee, but you can use any color. You can use blue or green or any color you like. And now I'm gonna let that dry. So there we go. That's how I've created this picture of my own version of Paul Clay's Castle and Sun. Um, if you wanna see some really fantastic examples of how to do paintings of your own in this style, don't forget to check out some of these fantastic um, samples from some of my students at school.